Hi, today I'd like to show you the Panasonic Freestyle 360 degree cordless iron. Uh, this is a great little invention. It's so nice not to have a cord when you're ironing. First of all, I wanted to show you that case that it comes in. It's a nice plastic case like so. And you can see on the other side it has the handle that fits down into it. See how nicely that fits in? It's pretty lightweight, so you can pick it up and carry it around. And when you want to remove the cover, you just pull on the little tabs on the bottom and it comes off easily, just like that. So, um, let me see. First of all, I'll show you the base. We'll take the iron out so you can see what the base looks like. Um, it has these little rollers, so it kind of makes it easy to get out. And this back mechanism here is where you set the iron. The base is plastic, or it's pretty much all plastic. Um, like a heavy-duty one, and it has a retractable cord, as you can see. The cord pulls out, like so, and when you want to put it back in, you just give it a pull, and it automatically goes back into the base. Very easy. So, when you get ready to iron, um, you just put this base on your ironing board, plug it in, and set the iron. I'll turn it around this way set your iron back in and let it heat up. We have, um, let's see, first of all, the other nice thing that I really like about this is that it has a removable tank, water tank. You know how sometimes when you're ironing with a regular um, iron, you pull the thing up and you set it under the stream of water in the sink and it dribbles all over the front of the, or all over the plate of the iron and gets caught in between things and then you start ironing and you end up with drips of water all over the place. Well, you don't have that problem with this iron because, let me show you this. You push this little button here on the side and the water tank lifts out. So you just take the water tank by itself, take it over to the sink, fill it up, close it, put this down, and it snaps back in like so, and you're ready to go. Well, you're ready to go once the iron heats up. The first thing you want to do is set it. You use this button and you just push on it from low, medium, high and that adjusts the steam and the plate, the iron itself temperature. On the top here you have, um, or right above the temperatures, you have the steam controls. When you want to release a burst of steam, you just give it a push and you get a poof of steam on the item that you're going to or the garment that you're ironing. And if you want the uh, fine water spray, you just push this button. This little um, setting up here will either turn the steam off, if you don't want to use steam at all, medium, or high. One thing that I like to do is put it on the high, and you can hold the iron vertically like so, and give it a push, and you can actually steam hanging garments, which comes in handy sometimes. The other nice thing about this iron is it doesn't drip. I've been using it for, I think, about a month now, and I think every iron that I've ever had um, always dripped sometime or another, and it's the most annoying thing because you get these splotches, particularly if you're trying to iron something like silk where it could leave a, um, a water spot or a water stain. This thing just, I have not been able to make it drip no matter what I did with it. It's also nice because you can go in any direction. I didn't, I kind of underestimated before I used it how nice this was going to be and just being able to go in any direction when you're ironing. It makes the ironing go so fast. It's so great not to have that cord around. And you just set it down like so when you're not using it. And um, you have to set it in the base well, other than if you just set it on the board, I guess, uh, because you're not tempted to put it on its side because of the shape of it. It won't sit on its um, on its base like so, like an ordinary iron would. So you put it back in the base, it charges up. I haven't had any problem at all with it losing steam. Anyway, um, and then when you're all done, you just take the iron, push the button again, take out the tank, empty it, put it back, 
it back in the base and let it cool off. And once it cools off, you can put your cover back on and you're all done. Oh, another good feature is that if you let it, leave it sitting in the base for 10 minutes without using it, it automatically turns off. That's very good for people that are like me that have bad memories. Sometimes the phone rings and you get talking and forget that you have that iron sitting there and been ironing. Um, so this way it, it automatically turns off. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed um, watching the video and I hope it gives you a better idea of how this iron works. Thank you.